Now the bamboo trees you see over here serves as camps for the raiders. So when they bring, when they bring their captives, they chain them around. They're waiting for them to take their last bath before selling them. Now at the slave camp, we don't sell enslaved Africans at the camp. But uh, those people, they come to the camp, the big men, they come to the camp and choose the best of us before the rest will be taken to the market to be auctioned out. So those people will be here waiting to buy the best of our enslaved Africans. Now, this river you see over here is a very huge river. Sometimes when it rains, it's flat all the way here. You can get closer. Now, this river is two separate rivers. There are two separate rivers. They are not the same river. This one over there is called River Emisa. This one is called River Emisa. Uh, which get, yes, River okay. Emisa. The main one is called River okay. Emisa. Which gets its source from the Pra River. The same river we were dumped into to die. This river gets its source from that same river. Then we have this river also to be non consume non consume which literally means a slave river. This one. Our brothers and sisters were made to wash themselves in the non consume but not in the Emisa because with the non consume it is always stagnant. Because they were scared that when they made us wash ourselves here, we might escape. So they made us wash ourselves in the stagnant, stagnant water, still in chains and in shackles. The question is, how can you wash yourself while you are in chains and shackles? That is the job of the raiders. And by doing so, you see this tree, this bamboo tree is over there. The smallest part of it, they cut it and they split it open. And they use it to wash our enslaved captives. So after washing us, you find out that almost all of us have bruises all over our body with blood oozing out. They do that for a purpose. After that, with all the blood coming out, they bring us from the river to where we are all standing. And they make us go through vigorous exercises just to determine our strength because it is assumed that if all this blood can be coming out from us for us to undertake such an exercise that makes us a stronger people mm. so after all those exercises they clean all the blood from us and they smear us with palm oil and shea butter just for us to look attractive in the olden days there was this big baba tree which was situated at where we have our first auction so they take them to the, the baba tree and they chain us around the baba tree for our first auction. Basically, our brothers and sisters were bought with things that are not really, really important. It is not really important the thing that they bought us with. Things like, they bought us with things like used clothes, tobacco, whiskey, gunpowder, uh, pet, those petty things that they were And I was reading a book on the transatlantic slave trade and it made this revelation which when I, when, I, when I knew of it, I, I cried this deep inside me. During that era, one us goes for 15 strong enslaved Africans. Mm -hmm. So during that era, even animals were valuable than we Africans. Mm -hmm. And the same thing that they, are, they did to us in the past, they are still doing the same thing now. Yes. 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 Wherever you're coming from, they have all these rights for animal. They call it yes. animal rights, animal rights. Yes. But when you kill a black person, you become a celebrity. Nobody yes. cares about us. Mm -hmm. All these money. things. All this is that they are doing to us as is president from the past. So that is why it is good for you to come to your roots so that you know your story. You know where you're coming from. So that when these things happen to you, you know how to overcome it. Now, I would, I, I would say you guys ought to forgive me because the thing that I come to say is something that some of you will not forgive me when I start. But when I end, all of you, I, I'm sure will, will, will forgive me. There's this group at the US of A that I love so much in my own way. And this group, are the white supremacists. I agree. I agree. I agree. Yes. Yes. I yes. Agree. I love this group. Do you know why? Because Africans have, stand, have stood so low for people to know our destiny than ourselves. Mm -hmm. Our destiny is for ourselves. It's not for them. So why would you allow them to know your destiny? Why are you yourself as African you don't know your destiny? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Africans see that we see ourselves as God and we always say we are born to occupy all the land that God gives us. Mm -hmm. So everywhere we go as Africans, we are seen as a threat because that land, right. that land that you see us there, we are about to occupy that land. Yes. They are seeing your destiny as Africans. Yes. 
things that we should see as Africans, we are not seeing, and they are seeing it. Mm -hmm. So rather, you see, if I'm a white person and, and I date you and we give birth, your baby is not going to look like me, it will look like you. Because we are the dominant species. Yes. Yes. So as long as it is, they know. So they are trying to do everything to bring us to their level and defeat us. And we are also going to that same level for them to defeat us. Yes. No, we should tell them that we are way, way, way far beyond that. Yes. We, are that we, are, we are too, I don't know, we are, we, we are above what they are thinking. Mm -hmm. Because, you see, during that era, we have Africans who can just look at the sky and predict that it's going to rain at exactly 2 o'clock and it will rain. Yes. We have people who That's just, fair. who couldn't give birth to, to yeah. anybody, but is the mother of everybody. We have special people in our, in, in our midst because we see ourselves as gods. So Africans, wherever you are, never ever feel yourself inferior mm -hmm. because you are not. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 You never, Ooh. you never. Because the, 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 try, the, the, the more they try to dump us, to dump our spirit, the more we always come out stronger as yes. Africans. Oh. But I always believe that the one, one thing that can, that can make we Africans stand is for us to be united. Yes. 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 Because yes. even those people are united. Mm -hmm. That is why they are always leading the race. Mm -hmm. But imagine if all Africans that hey, we call ourselves... Unstoppable. Yes. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, just imagine, we will be unstoppable. So please, as you come to your ancestral roots, you are uh, you are uh, ambassador yes. to whatever is about yes. to happen in Africans' life. Yes. Try to motivate one another. Yes. Try to come together as one, because when we are together as one, in the three language we always say prayer wa wey, uye ba kwenyebu, ukabomu ayembu. It's a three uh, proverb, which means uh, when you take one stick out of a, a bunch of broom, you only break it; it breaks. But when you put all the broom together and you break it, it doesn't break. So Africans, when we come together like that, you matter how much they break us, we will never break as Africans. Yes. Now, we are at our ancestral home. This is the most important part of it. Our ancestors are always here to bless us mm -hmm. because it's been a while since they set their eyes on you. Mm -hmm. You have many things that they, they have many things in kept for you mm -hmm. and it's only yours and it's up to you to take your possession. But now, our ancestors, who are our ancestors? Somebody may ask, who are our ancestors? They are Kofi Kwame, they are Kojo, they are Sojourner Truth, they are Martin Luther King, they are Malcolm X, they are James Padmore, they are Arab Tugma. All these people are our ancestors. So today, as we've come together in the spirit to have this connection with our ancestors, this is what I'm going to give you about two minutes of your time for you to strictly meditate and ask them, for whatever you feel like actually just meditate on it and just tell them medase thank them for hey mukwetre thank them for all that they've done for us as africans in our lives for two minutes and after the two minutes we'll be going we'll be going down to the river we are going to meditate by putting our hands so i think meditation should rather be downwards you go to the river you dip your hand in the river you just pour your heart out to your ancestors then after that I'm going to give each one of each one of you here a gift. Yes, which is very, very special gift. And I'm going to give each one of you here a gift. So if you wouldn't, wouldn't you wouldn't mind, can we please go downwards so that we will we'll perform the rituals down down there? Okay. <laughs> 